continuing on with my water to air intercooler setup. I've already mounted this stuff. If you haven't seen that, here's a link. And if you haven't seen me explain how the system works and how much it's costed, here's another link. So I'm gonna get right into it. What I've got to do is I've got to run all my hose. Like I've told you in the other episodes, I'm literally using a hose from a garden. Stole it from my mom. Hopefully she don't find out it was me, but it is the way it is. We gotta get this car going down the road, so. I'm gonna start off by getting my rad attached to my intercooler, and that is pretty much all the plumbing I need to do for up front, and I'm going to send everything back to the trunk because that is where my actual water box is, so I'm gonna have to send everything that way, and I'm going to do it very neat, very neatly. Coming, I'm gonna come out 90 down, so I'm going to avoid as many things as I can, do it in a clean, crisp way, and uh, make sure this stuff isn't gonna get heat soaked like crazy. So I'm just gonna use these 90s. These are 5.8s 90s. I bought them on Amazon. They are called 5.8s um, bar fittings 90s. So get those, and it'll go right into the end of a hose, and then you'll be good. So I'm gonna do a whole bunch of joints, so it's not like randomly bent tube like this. I don't like that. I will eventually be changing this, but anyways. Yeah, I want it all nice and crisp and flow correctly. So the water is gonna be coming from the trunk and going into this inlet right here. I've already got that all sorted out. And then it's going to come through here and it's going to heat up the water from the air. And then the hot water is coming out of this. So I need to send this to my rod and my rod is over here. So I need to get this hose down there and avoiding all this um, contraption of headers and exhaust and everything there. So that's gonna be difficult, but I think I just got a plan. I think I got a plan. All right, I got most of under the hood done. I've got the out of the in intercooler where the warm water is going through down and toward the rad. My rad's down there, my, it's already on my inlet. And there she sits. So it will come in through right here because it's at the very top of the, of the end piece. It'll fill up here and then the water will go across and then the water will come out here. So I have to run this to the trunk at the top of the tank because that's where the warm water is going in. I think I am going to go from the outlet on the rad over here and then underneath the plastics on the wheel well, go up into the wheel well, back into the car, underneath the carpet, and then all the way up to my water box that is in here. I got the outlet done for the rad. It goes through here, up into the wheel well, down, underneath the carpet. Actually it turned out really good, can't tell at all. And then I've got the hose out to here. I'm I'm short a couple of fittings, so I'm gonna do these fittings last because I'm waiting on a, a bag of them because I want a 90 out of here and then straight down. And this one is the out towards the intercooler. Now I'm gonna do the outlet from the water box, drill a hole, go underneath the car, then mount the pump, and then go towards the front on the driver's side, just like over here. And I'm gonna run it 
again, above the wheel well. I definitely want to mount this pump outside of the car because it is loud for sure. I, I don't want to be hearing that while I'm driving. So I'm thinking I'm going to mount it underneath the trunk. This is the end for the intercooler and I have to put this around the wheel well and then underneath the car so I can go to underneath the trunk so I can mount this water pump so it isn't loud and annoying. All right, so I got the in all set up other than underneath the car. So now I've got to change the position. I've got this car jacked up and jack it up to the side so I can run this all the way underneath. Sweet, I got this line all tidied up. I'm gonna cut a piece out of this mat. It's rubber, so it will deflect sound because of the vibrations of that, um, that pump. So I'm gonna cut a piece out and that's what I'm gonna mount to my car and then I'm going to mount my pump to this. So the water comes from the tank to here into the pump and then the pump forces it to the intercooler and it will be doing it by electricity. So I've got my red going into the car and my black is right to the frame. I grease it up just so it doesn't rust. I also greased all the, the, the tops of the, the screws so it doesn't rust and I'm good to go under here. I'm finally done under here. I don't like being on a creeper so. As you can see, this is looking pretty good. I've got all the lines done. I'm pretty pumped. It's all mounted good and it should be leak free. The fitting I'm waiting for is a 90 because I want to bring that hose, which is right underneath my carpet right now, and bring it up cleanly to the top right there. So I'm very close to having all my cool lines ran for this water to air setup. I am pumped and this is exactly how I envisioned it. I envisioned this exactly like this. It's very clean. This is the wire I'm going to run up to my switch underneath the carpet, but I will save that and just do that off camera. But damn, this is looking awesome. I'm really pumped on this. That is for sure. Turned out exactly how I wanted it to.